As L.A. County faces up to $2 billion in cuts, a new report has found the county's probation department exceeded its overtime budget by nearly $10 million. What's more, John Schwata says some employees treated the overtime like a game. L.A. County supervisors upset that some of their employees competed to see who could get the most overtime pay. It was more of a race of abusing and misusing taxpayers' dollars than in providing the protection to our young people in our juvenile facilities. An audit showed overtime abuses high among probation officers and favoritism sometimes playing a role in who got the OT. Probation Chief Robert Taylor. And there might be uh, a friendly relationship between the subordinate and the supervisor. And so, you know, I know you, Fred, and so, you know, I'll give you the overtime. Supervisor Mike Antonovich would like to see some heads roll for that $9.8 million in unexplained or unjustified probation overtime identified in the audit. I have no objection to those being prosecuted who have uh, illegally committed a, a fraud. Taylor says most of the abuses have been fixed. No, we have not been sitting on our hands. We have reduced the overtime by 75%, yeah. oh, okay. which is very, very, very substantial. No one's saying that all of that overtime money was misspent. In fact, there are some who say that a lot of it went for a good cause of making facilities like this one safer and less violent for the kids who are incarcerated in them. Taylor says a lot of the overtime was spent to boost staffing at county juvenile halls and detention camps and that those expenditures have actually helped reduce violence in those facilities by 15%. In Los Angeles, I'm John Schwatta, Fox 11 News.